Okay, I'm trying to get my camera to stay put, so I'm sorry about that. Um, three things I want to start out with after I get my camera, which I thought I had put, um, is... First of all, i got to say hi to my grandson in Alaska. Last time he watched my video, he got mad because I didn't interact with him. Junior, I love you. Mwah. Second of all, my brother told me to turn my camera sideways so that I get more. So, thanks, Jay. Number three is my husband and I decided we like videos between 10 and 12 minutes. If it's real long, we don't want to watch it. If it's, you know, real short, we'll watch it. But usually 10 and 12 minutes is our max. So, I'm trying to keep this short. This is my embroidery find from the local thrift store here in Western Kansas. They have some great deals. Every day there's a 50% off special. And so I have scored. My daughter-in-law keeps making fun of me saying I'm not going to get everything home. I'm here watching my grandchildren until the end of the school year fi finishes because she had to go back to work with their new baby. So I am going to show you a few things that I have got. This was a purse that I deconstructed. I could use the vinyl for the key fob. I got four zippers out of it and I got this metal chain. Don't know what I'm going to do with that, but hmm, we'll see. My husband may think of something. I also got a leather purse for 99 cents. All of these were 99 cents. Look at those lobster class, four of them for 99 cents. There's also a metallic purse closure if you're into it and a zipper on the inside. Looks fairly new. I think it's probably not. I do wash everything so you know that even if it's leather, delicate cycle, let it air dry. Have never had a problem with anything. Believe me. This looks new. There's nothing inside, no great finds or anything, but it's new, so I'll probably embroider on it, and it can be like a laptop bag, carry-all, beach bag, whatever you'd like it to be. This bag will definitely be deconstructed. Do not like it, but look at the great lobster class. Two of them, 99 cents. One, two, three zippers and two lobster claws for 99 cents. Where are you going to get that anywhere else? And this purse looks pretty brand new. So, but even though I'm deconstructing it. Oh, and a, the purse metal. I don't make purses, so I don't know. Here's my favorite one. I bought it for the vinyl. Because I thought, well, that will be cool to deconstruct. Got it home and realized I have this huge zipper in it. A huge zipper on the back that has a little zipper pull that's cute. There is one, two, three, four zippers. And this is the best part. Look at these lobster clasps. Is that not awesome? Those are a good four to five inches long. Have you ever seen anything like it? I tried to look them up on eBay, couldn't find anything like them. Closest thing, or Etsy, internet, whatever, um, anything like them at all. These are like new. Um, 99 cents, and I got all that. That's my favorite. Got this diaper bag. Um, looks brand new too. It has one, two, three, four, it has five, six, seven zippers in it. That's if I take it apart, who knows. Um, lobster class inside, D-ring inside, two lobster clasps on the outside. 250 is what I paid for this. A huge D-ring on the outside. Some cool zipper pulls. And some per magnetic purse things. And some of these zippers, look how large that is. I mean, this is a diaper bag, so you can see it's my shoulder width. 
which isn't small. Brand new diaper bag. Still has the tags on it. You can see. Paid $2.50 for this one. Now, it doesn't have a lot so far as zipper. Two zippers in it. No lobster class. does have a brand new changing pad. I am sure I will embroider on this one. I'll find probably this side here because there's no zippers on this side. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'll embroider on it, but we'll figure that out later as I do most things. Um, got a jean purse just because I liked it. 99 cents. There is three zippers on it. This looks brand new too. I don't know if it was handmade or store made, but whatever it is, it's very nicely constructed. And look at these zipper pulls. That's just, this is what makes me think it was bought at the store, but you can tell it's never used. So cool zipper pulls, three zippers, and some oblong rings. 99 cents. Two dollars. They had this in the baby section. Half price. It's a dog bag. I can just see my little dog in there now. I have a little Yorkie. Um, it has, and where'd it go? Here it is, a lobster clasp. And that's it. Oh, and a zipper. And look at these zipper pulls. Oh, they're so cute. They have little doggy bones on it. So if you can see both sides. And they have two of those on here. One on the top and one on the bottom. This is just a little cooler bag, 99 cents. They had it in the purse section. It has one of these like sweatshirt things. I don't know what I'll do with that. My husband might do something with it. Um, it has this cool little lobster claspy that does it. And this big O-ring, 99 cents. I'll probably embroider on that one. Here's another one. This uh, was used, but it has three zippers, couple D-rings, this little like belt buckle thing. I don't know what I'll do with this yet. It does have the cool um, zipper pulls and the zippers are all long enough for the in the hoop embroidery. Most of these zippers I believe are once you deconstruct them. Here's another purse I got for 99 cents, brand new, has the tags on it. It has lobster clasps, two of them. A good place to embroider on the front here. Let's see how many zippers. One, two, three, four zippers, and two lobster clasps, and two D-rings. 99 cents. This is brand new. So whether I use it to embroider on or just tear it apart, definitely worth 99 cents. Here's another one. I don't quite know why I bought this because I like the vinyl maybe and there is a pocket that I could get probably quite a bit of vinyl out of even though it's a smaller purse um, it does have two zippers in it and just some little rings so 99 cents so I'm a sucker and I got some fabric 99 cents I paid full price for that and that is 42 inches so, excuse me, 25 inches. So I guess I didn't get as good a deal as I thought. Could have got it half price on Wednesday if I'd went. This is two and a half yards of a pink and white cotton pinstripe that I got for $1.99. Here's some Walmart finds. $3 iPad case. Very nice. And it's got even... I will definitely embroider on these. A laptop case, $3. Definitely embroider on that. And that, I think, is about it. I got a few sheets and other things you guys would be bored with. But I just want to tell you that you can get lobster class that are so expensive on Etsy. 
I mean, I think they're $1.79 or something at Walmart, and that's one of the cheaper places. Um, but for if you have a good thrift store or they're having a good sale, I mean, don't even look at the purse. Just look at the stuff that's on it. You can get some really cool looking things on there. So I hope that that helps everybody. I like to save money, and I also have fun saving money. My husband says, always says, I saved him, you, lot, you saved me lots of money. Anyway, and, I, and I'm spending it. But I do look at garage sales, thrift stores, and um, clearance, clearance aisles or whatever. So um, there's lots of places you can find that. Um, this store just happens to have a plethora, and they are so reasonable. Um, and... I mean, I don't find Goodwill. I like Goodwill. I go there. I just don't find them as cheap on their purses and stuff like that unless they're having a sale or it's like 30% off um, military day or something. And um, still then, it's just hard. Sometimes you can buy it new. If I can buy it new for, you know, over half the price, then I'm not going to buy it used. Well, thank you. I love you, Junior. Mwah. Love you to the moon and back, and thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.